Oh good, a commercial from Canada, our friendly neighbors from the north. They're always so kind in everything they do. Oh look, a baby shower for an expecting mother. Oh, you got the little girl there and everything. Oh my god, this is gonna be adorable. What is that? It's a rape whistle. What the fuck, Canada? I mean, talk about an uncomfortable blow to your nads. Is this how you do all your serious commercials? Start off with something innocent and lighthearted and then smash it down into cruel, cruel reality? I mean, it's like starting off an ad like this. You know, a hard day's work doesn't call for water out of the cooler. What do you got there? I got me a nice bottle of mountain water. Cool, refreshing, big on taste, but also big on satisfaction. What do you got there? I got pancreatic cancer. <sighs> Sheesh, I mean, this can't be good for tourism. Who the hell would want to go to Canada after learning that statistic? Do they have that on the entry sign to the place? Welcome to Canada, one in two girls will be physically or sexually abused? That's pretty awkward! I mean, how do you think the expecting mother feels? What is that? It's a rape whistle. Well, Grandma just ruined the baby shower. I'm gonna go hit the vodka. No, oh, wait, can't drink. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Again, great timing, Grandma. I know you mean well, guys, but... Jesus! It's a rape whistle. A message from Concerned Children's Advertisers. Oh, thank God, another Canadian commercial. They'll calm us down from all this open your mouth and close your eyes controversy. Why do you think your mommy or daddy are always telling you, don't put that in your mouth? God damn it, Canada. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you stuff it in your face. Don't stuff it in your face. So it might look good to eat. So it might look good to eat. And it might look good to taste. And it might look good to taste. You could get sick. Ick. Real quick. Ick. Really? You were looking for a word to rhyme with sick and that's the best one you could come up with in this scenario? Don't you put it in your mouth. Uh-uh. Tell you ask some... God. Do they have to look so possessed while singing it too? It just doesn't add to the overall feel of the experience. If you don't know just what it is, go for it in your mouth. Yeah. Just play it, y'all know it's coming. It's a rape whistle. Canada! Canada. I make fun of you with this because you have nothing else to make fun of. Go for it. Always ask someone you love before you put anything in your mouth. Except if that something in your mouth is the person that you love. Here's a little PSA from Canada. Nah, -uh. nope, I've learned my lesson. Canada is fucked up. They may look all cute and innocent, but then they're sneaking in rape whistles and putting dicks in your mouth and God knows what else. Well, I'm not falling for it this time. I'm the sous chef here. With any luck, I should be head chef by next year. Oh, well that... Sounds kind of nice. I've got this amazing fiance. Oh, well that sounds sweet. A nice couple finally found love. Well, I won't be marrying this weekend. Oh, what? Well, you have to change the date or something. God, that's always so hard when that happens. Because I'm about to be in a terrible accident. Huh? But really, I should have cleaned up the grease over there. And they should never put the deep fryer so close. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Cause you're sick! <laughs> Here's another PSA from Canada. Oh no. No, 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 no. 
I've been fooled by your PSAs before, Canada. You always try to make them look so friendly and nice. But then there's rape whistles and face burnings and putting things in your mouth. Well, I'm ready for you this time, Canada. Do your worst. It's nighttime in a kitchen just like yours. Uh-huh. All is quiet. Or is it? Blah, blah, blah. What the shit was that? The North American house hippo is found throughout Canada and the eastern United States. What? House hippos are very timid creatures and are rarely seen. But they will defend their territory if provoked. They come out at night to search for food, water, and materials for their nests. Uh, what? They, 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 they eat children or something? The favorite foods of the house hippo are chips, raisins, and the crumbs from peanut butter on toast. I'm not falling for your cuteness, Canada. Where are you going with this? They build their nests in bedroom closets, using lost mittens, dryer lint, and bits of string. And then they... flamethrower your family? Don't smoke? House hippos sleep about 16 hours a day. That looked really real, but you knew it couldn't be true, didn't you? That's why it's good to think about what you're watching on TV and ask questions, kind of like you just did. A message from Concerned Children's Advertisers. Well, that was nice. Downright adorable. So, let me get this straight, Canada. You start off your dark, disturbing PSAs as cute and innocent, and start off your cute and innocent PSAs as dark and disturbing. What are you, Canada? You're like a riddle inside an enigma inside a please and thank you. Uh, okay, cool. The house hippo. Don't believe everything you see. Fair enough. A cute, harmless, even educational PSA. Good for you, Canada. I will not have nightmares tonight. Okay. We good, Canada. We good. Thank you for that enlightening, very pleasant PSA. Well, on to the next one. Okay, so here's one from Britain called Electricity Football. Oh, cool. I always wonder what their version of electric football was like. Look, over there is a football. Oh, it's that kind of football. That's fine. I'm still curious to see how kids play that. Hang on, mate. This place is electrified. You right if you don't touch anything? I'm not seeing any plugs or boards. Was this a Parker Brothers game? Oh, 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 oh Jesus! Oh, good lord! Oh, sweet heavenly god, no! Seven! Oh my god, 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 oh Stay out. Oh, trust me, I will! You electrocute kids like bug zappers! You're sick! You're sick, Britain! You can keep your Terry Gilliam because you're sick! You're sick! <laughs> <laughs>